I've just spent £71. I think it might be one of the biggest shops I've done in Lidl. Let's test out the £3.89 bottle of Pino together. Oven, apple and cinnamon bread pudding. So the first draw I'm going to do is this one. Hi there, welcome back to a new vlog. Um, it's a bit of a spontaneous one, this one. I've just got in from London. I've just had a lovely day out with my daughter. And Aid and I, Aid picked me up from the station and we've ended up doing a little shop. We've been needing to do a shop for days. And you know when you keep putting it off? And I've just been making my meal plans according to what's in the fridge and the freezer and the larder and it's got to the stage where we're really really running low on a lot of things we couldn't really put it off any longer so we went straight and did a little shop i had my shopping list with me i've just spent 71 pounds i think it might be one of the biggest shops i've done in lidl and i feel i haven't got masses to show for it it's not like i've got loads of meat or anything um we have picked up some extra things though that we're going to try for the first time to hopefully cut some costs so i'm going to review those and share those with you during this video i also want to make some really cute little mini um victoria sponges so i'm going to do those over the next couple of days and i haven't decided what i'm going to cook but i'm not going to cook now i've had dinner out i've had a lovely pad thai um with holly in london it's just about to do hot dogs and watch the football so i won't be cooking tonight but i thought i'd show you what we've bought and then i think i might make some cakes tomorrow anyway i'll show you what i bought and what the new things are i hope you'll enjoy this video please subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of thing i love a bit of sort of like lifestyle a little bit of bits and pieces what we're up to and loads of decluttering we are currently in the midst of wanting to move so we are doing lots and lots of decluttering at the moment so if you like that kind of thing please subscribe to my channel i've just laid it all out nicely for you so i picked up some flowers because um i think it has actually been i think it's been over three weeks now since i last did a proper shop so although i've spent 71 pounds I haven't shopped for ages obviously we've popped into our little Sainsbury's next to the post office picked up bread and milk and stuff like that but a proper shop spending more than about four or five pounds we haven't done so I picked up these flowers to replace these ones because yeah they've well and truly had it but these do last for quite a while We're over three weeks old now so that's not bad going I've got baking paper from Lidl for the first time these are our favourite little snacks that we like. I think they're still about 80p, between 80 and 90p. Tortilla salted chips, uh, chips, we love these and they are 48p. That's actually for Aid's mum and dad. And let's have a look at this. Aid's just getting out the sausages. You love those big ones, don't you? I think I'll be a problem with it, love. Look at that. <laughs> it's a big girth. Um, Actually, can I use your fingers, please? No, I'm not having any oh. pork on my fingers. £3.89. I wonder what this will be like. Pinot Grigio. I'm going to stick it in the fridge. I've already got a bottle open in there. So I will try this over the next few days Tomorrow. when I've when I finished up there. I'm not having a drink tonight. <laughs> I don't feel like I need one. Um, so yeah, let's test out the £3.89 bottle of Pino together. Oh, you look after your sausages, you're fine. I'm hungry. I know you're hungry. Sorry. So going to try the tea bags. I've been buying the Waitrose Zone for ages. I have decaf. £1.9p. and p for 80 tea bags so I'm going to try those tonight see what they're like eggs also going to be trying for the first time little kitchen towel and toilet paper we usually get Waitrose own loo paper how much do we pay at Waitrose it's, it's five really... pound I'd be interested to know because it's only about one pound this was 30, three pounds something Three sixty nine was it? Toilet, like they look a bit smaller, don't they? About, how um, many? It usually says. I want to check how many sheets on every. How many roll. shits on a roll? Oh, I've mm. just dropped the digestives. There's two hundred and twenty sheets on every roll. Okay. Approximately. We'll compare it to check. Waitrose. See what that's like. We bought it for Louis last time, though. Poppy's having a lot of accidents, so we're getting through a lot of kitchen towel. So we thought we'd try Waitrose. Um, Lidl. They only have the seeded wraps, so we've got seeded wraps. And we really like the little branded biscuits. 
these are Poppy's. Poppy has a quarter of a rich tea biscuit every single evening before bedtime. Um, ginger nuts. And I tend to bake with these, but these are all so much cheaper. I also bought caster sugar and bread flour as well. I didn't have my usual chopped tomatoes, um, so I've got the same brand. I think they're 30 something P, but we're gonna have to chop them ourselves. Coconut milk for curries, sweet corn, and then I've got, I use this chicken soup for a pasta dish, butter beans for my white chili. I might make that tomorrow actually. And I use the mixed beans for um, things like tacos and chili. Also got double cream for my cakes I'm going to be making, creme fraiche for my chili, olives, we're just about run out of butter so we're going to try the little one for the first time we haven't had this one before and the um, fake butter um, that I used to bake with um, what we use on sandwiches and things that's only 99p that's not too bad in price Aid's picked up some pate uh, we both love this German salami I bake my own sourdough a few times a week and I like it with that brat balls are just increased in price they're now 235 I think Aid's picked up ham for sandwiches and as a treat I've still got chicken in the freezer so we've gone for some pork medallions. I've got a whole red cabbage in the fridge that I keep meaning to cook up and I'm fancying a proper like German red cabbage with apple with the pork and some German style potatoes. I really fancy that. Maybe that's something I could do on here. I'm really fancying the white chili there. What should we do on here? White chili or the German potatoes with the pork and the red cabbage, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. And then fruit and veg, we have grapes, cherry tomatoes, mushrooms, these lasted so well last time, frozen peas, bananas, um, plums are on offer, 129 for that punnet, onions, peppers, I love the jumbo garlics there, they're 59p now. A couple of limes, which we use for salad dressings, Courgettes, big bag of carrots, peppers, bag of spinach, and I think, oh, cucumber and celery as well. I think that's it. All of that came to £71. Uh, where are you shopping at the moment? Where are you finding is the cheapest? And do you have any recommendations for cutting back your food budget? I'm finding that batch cooking is definitely the way to go. This week I made a great big vegetable lasagna and we got two meals out of that. So the oven's only going on once, but I'm finding the batch cooking, freezing things is really, really working well for me. Um, very, very little waste. And um, it's just nice in the week sometimes not to have to cook every single night. Cause I like to cook from scratch, but when I've got things ready, so like making my curry, I'll make up a great big batch of that and probably do maybe three or four meals. Um, so yeah, it's working really well for me, the batch cooking. But I would love to hear your tips and how you are currently running your home with regards to food bills and cooking and everything else, budgeting with regards to like the weekly shop. I am going to put this little lot away. I'm going to make a cup of tea, let you know what that tea's like. Oh, and what other non-branded things have you found lately that's saving you money and tastes just as good? We found the ketchup we're completely happy with in Lidl. We're just kind of like trying things. The biscuits are all just the same as the branded. So I'd love to know from you, what things are you finding that are non-branded that are just as good as the regular brands? A Couple of days later, I had a really bad headache yesterday, which completely knocked me out. Um, I was going to make some little mini Victoria sponges, but I've decided not to do that. I'm really fancying like more comfort cakey things. So I've just defrosted a whole load of bread from the freezer and I'm going to make a bread, a bread pudding. It's more like a cake, it's not a pudding. I made this all the time through lockdown because you only need 50 grams of flour. And we haven't had it since then and I'm really, really craving it. So all these little ends that I've been collecting in the freezer, um, I'm going to turn them into a cake. So I've just torn out all the pieces of bread. The recipe calls for white bread. However, I just always use up what we've got in the house. 
I'm just adding 600 mils of milk. Make sure all that soaks in. It needs to be left for about 10 minutes until it's soaked in. I have used up anything from any type of bread. I've used my rye bread, I've used croissants, I've used brioche, bread rolls, pita breads. As long as it's soaked in, I think you can use anything. And I tend to generally use a mix of things as well, just using up all the last few bits. So that's why I always freeze any leftover -y bits of bread because it can always be used at a later date. The recipe also says to remove crusts. Again, I don't do that. Um, they just need a little bit longer to soak, but I do not waste anything all of the bread gets used. I just throw in fruit wise whatever I've got in. I've got some sultanas here and I had a big apple that needed using up so I've just chopped up the apple as well. Throwing the fruit in, I've got 50 grams of self-raising flour, 100 grams of caster sugar and then I'm going to add a level teaspoon of ginger, level teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of mixed spice. I did add a bit more ginger for good luck. And then a couple of eggs. I've got some marge, 100 grams of marge melting in the microwave, which I'm gonna add. And I think I should have gone with a bigger bowl. And 100 grams of melted marge. We're gonna mix that all together. It really does look like slop, but I can promise you it's going to taste so good. Um, I've added chocolate chips in it in the past. I've done an orangey one as well, which was really nice. Um, like some grated orange, a bit of orange juice and chocolate orange. And it was a really good one. So um, play around with it. You could add cherry and almonds. There's all sorts you could do with this recipe. I kind of like class this almost as the classic one. Although I've added apple in today, I think like the raisins or the currants is your classic bread pudding. Right, this is ready. The oven is on 150. I've lined my dish with greaseproof paper, pressed it all in. And now, as I'm calling this an apple and cinnamon bread pudding, I'm going to sprinkle a mix of sugar and cinnamon over the top before baking it in the oven. This is going in the oven on 150 for one and a half hours. And then you turn it up to 180 and do it for a further 10 minutes. So it's not a quick one, it does take a while. I can't wait though, the house is going to smell so delicious. I love that baking smell with cinnamon, I can't wait. I've just taken this out of the oven, apple and cinnamon bread pudding. We will not be waiting for this to cool down, I can assure you. It smells so good. This bread pudding is very, very good. It could have done with being a little bit sweeter. I did try it as soon as it came out of the oven. It was really, really hot. Um, and it definitely tastes better actually when it's a little bit cooler. It's just been, it's been chopping it up to put on the cloche or under the cloche, I should say. It is a good bread pudding and the apple and cinnamon with it is very, very nice. Only one problem, it's very, very Moorish. And once I've cut it up, I can't stop eating it. I've got a feeling this video is just going to be a little bit all over the place. So I wanted to do some taste tests. Firstly, um, the tea. The tea is absolutely lovely. Um, I like my tea really, really strong. It's like an orangey brownie colour when I drink it. Um, and I'm really happy with the tea. It's quite a good saving. The wine I tried the other day on Sunday um it's not my favorite wine it's three pounds 89 but i think that's more personal taste um it's very dry and i don't go for the very dry so somebody else may well really like it there's not actually anything wrong with it it's just my own personal taste next thing i was going to try um is the butter usually we buy the president butter which i love it's what they have in disneyland paris which is why we love it not it's not the reason we love it it's how we found it and we really like it so we're gonna try the um spreadable west country butter with cornish sea salt just taking it out the fridge it spreads really easily i like that that's a big plus because the president is solid and I have to leave it out um, before using it. I'm just gonna spread it onto a cream cracker with some cheese. I've got grapes on my plate and I'm gonna have some wine and we'll give it a proper taste test. 
it's nice but it doesn't have that really good flavor that the president butter has so this is definitely the winner but for price i can't fault it i'm gonna wash it down with some wine I also think when it comes to drinks, it depends what you're eating as to how the, the wine tastes. And actually this with the what with the cheese and crackers, it goes really well. Tastes much nicer today. I can't remember what I was eating the other day, but I was cooking a Sunday lunch. And what I did say the other day, I use a lot of wine for cooking and I would definitely buy this and keep it in just for um, cooking. But actually, second go today, and I actually quite like it. I like it much more than I did the other day, so £3.89, I will definitely be buying this again. As for the loo rolls, don't worry, we're not going to be doing a proper review of those. Um, Aid was working out the cost. You obviously get less sheets in Lidl, and he compared to what we're paying in Waitrose, and it doesn't actually work out too much more expensive. So just be aware when something looks a lot cheaper, it might be actually that you're getting less for your money. I'm gonna carry on enjoying my cheese and wine. Um, but yeah, let us know what brands, what non-branded things have you tried elsewhere that you'd really recommend. Good morning, it's a few days later and it's early morning. I've got such a headache this morning. I've just made my coffee and I've decided to throw something really easy in the slow cooker today just so I've got food later so if I feel like having a slower day I know I've got dinner sorted so I'm gonna make a white chili chicken dinner it's one of the really easy throw in the all together in the slow cooker and I know it'll be amazing later a real sort of warm comfort food with a nice bit of like a warmth it doesn't have to be too spicy you can control the spice but this is just so so perfect for a cozy day. Let me know if you've tried white chili before. It's really good. Let's start with jalapenos, white beans. I'm using cannelli beans, um, oregano, cumin. I'm adding carrots and celery, which isn't in the recipe. Onion, garlic, a stock pot, sweet corn. I used a little bit of the sweet corn for meal I made yesterday so I've got the remainder of the large tin and we'll be adding chicken as well. I buy all the things like this branded from Lidl because they do work out much cheaper. Just gonna chop and throw in all the veg. I've decided just to do the one carrot in the end. I'm not even draining the water from the sweet corn that can go in as well. This is seriously so easy. I haven't even cut up the chicken thighs. It's just gone in. I'm adding water. In a few hours when the chicken's cooked through, I will shred it. It's so, so easy. I'm so ready for food. I am really, really fancying this. I'm going to finish this off, put some rice on. I am feeling absolutely shattered. It's just been one of those days today. I'm so glad that I did this food this morning. But I'm also going to do a couple of very quick draw declutters as well. First of all, let's just take a look at this chili. The I've managed to just break all the chicken into pieces anyway. It's just broken away really easily. The recipe asks for soured cream. However, I am going to be using creme fraiche. I did use some of this the other day. So I've got about half of this left. So I'm gonna pour that in, give it a stir. If it does look a little bit runny, I always just add a few gravy, chicken gravy granules to thicken it up. Uh, just adding cheese, also not in the recipe. I know I added carrots, but I've just added some peas as well. Cheese and peas. First draw I'm going to do is this one. My usual and just empty it all out and then see what I can get rid of. As always, it's always the candles that mess this up. I've also got, I put this in here and I don't know why. We've got all this change. Um, I don't know how that's ended up at the back of that drawer. So I'm gonna take that out because I've actually got a little change pot on the drawer now, on the top I mean. So let's clean all this out. I think I just put it in here out the way. As you can see, the mess from the candles, I get this every single time. It just gets everywhere. This is everything from the drawer. 
Next, I'm just going to take out the drawer liners and give everything a really good clean. So, and today, for a change, I'm actually using this Apple Fabulosa spray, which smells amazing. I'm going to go through, put everything back, and have a good think if there's anything I do no longer use. Wash the tray up here as well, as that's also full of candle wax. So, I'm having a rethink cookie cutters. I've got a lot of them in this drawer and it's not something I use loads of. I do use this one and a couple of these quite often when I make scones. I do use this one a lot when I bake bread and these two when I make cookies. The rest, however, I don't actually use that much. These are going, that's going, that's going. So I've taken this out of the cupboard, which has cookie cutters in. I don't think I can fit that many. I've also got like my icing nozzles. And then I remembered this. This is a cookie tin that we bought in Disneyland Paris. And I'm thinking, let's take out the cookies and home the other cookie cutters in here. The idea is that one goes on and then you press the indentation. That's so cute. Um, I think that's a good idea. And then we can keep them all together. I might still keep these actually in the drawer because I do use those quite a lot. This one not so much, but I don't want to get rid of them. And actually we could pop the hearts in there as well. And I can actually keep those in the cupboard and they're not taking up space in the drawer. It looks much tidier and much cleaner and better organised. This had the loose change in. That can be washed up. And then I can pop the cookie cutters in the cupboard. And this is my to bin pile. And we're going to do another quick drawer declutter. First up, I'm going to put these straight in with the Disney cookie cutters. Wonder. Where does all the grabbiness come from when everything goes in the drawer is clean? And this is what I need to go through. This is all going to be my rubbish pile at the top. I've got some questionable things. When the kids used to reuse bottles and things for school, which obviously we don't need anymore. Um, yeah, and chopsticks belong in the other drawer. I've got a whole collection of those. So they can go out there. Okay, we we've got a little bit of extra space in there now. Those are for our speak to aid and... I think all this can be binned. Wow, that was two very quick draw declutters just whilst I was waiting for the uh, water to boil for the rice. The rice is now done and I can dish up dinner. Um, sometimes it's just really nice just to do a quick declutter whilst you're in the kitchen, isn't it? Just try and keep on top of those jobs because the drawers seem to get cluttered really quickly. Anyway, I'm gonna dish up dinner. I'm really hungry. Here we go, and I've just topped it with cheese, some crushed tortillas, and a little bit of green, just to make it look a little bit prettier. And a chili wouldn't be a chili without the tortilla crisps. These are only 40 something peer bag in Lidl, they're so good. I really hope you've enjoyed hanging out with us over the last few days. Let me know what you've cooked recently that's been really yummy, really cozy food and quick and easy. I'd love to hear from you. And have you done any little quick sort of 10 minute declutters lately or do you need to do any? Let me know. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you in the next weekend vlog on Sunday. Take care. Bye.